What's going on guys, it's the NOLA Hub here back with another video and today we're going to be talking about how Josh Hart wants out of New Orleans, how it impacts the team, and all of that good stuff. But before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, it's free, helps me out as a small creator, we are grinding our way up. Again, thank you for a thousand subscribers, all the support, but without further ado, let's get into it. It was reported by Chris Fedor, or Fedor, Fedor, I'm not exactly sure, um, that Josh Hart would like a fresh start. He is with Cleveland.com, and I know what you're saying. That's yeah, not the most reliable source ever. Well, the thing is, Fedor has called some free agency news in the past, and he's not like some irrelevant bum. He also mentions how he has a connection to Larry Nance Jr., and this is big because Josh Hart's best friend, or one of his best friends, is Larry Nance Jr. as they play together in L.A. And I don't blame Josh Hart one bit for wanting a fresh start. He's 26 years old, entering his prime. Uh, he wants to start, I would assume, and I assume that's what he means by fresh start. We've got a lot of young guards here. Lonzo Ball might be coming back. You got Kyra Lewis Jr. coming back. You got DD, who can play a little guard forward. He most likely wasn't going to start. He might have started. He might not have. But I think he wants to go to a team he's guaranteeing he'll be a much bigger role on. And most likely on the Pelicans, he would have been on the bench again as the younger guys with a higher ceiling would have started over him. But this is still a humongous loss for the Pelicans. Josh Hart played a really pivotal role off our bench, being a really good defensive player rebounder and could score the basketball a little bit he did a lot of everything except really pass the ball on the floor i really like josh hart's game and i think a lot of teams will be interested in josh hart honestly a really good fit for him would be going back to the lakers because they need defense and they could throw him the bag and honestly he would start right away but i don't see that happening i'm not exactly sure where i think he'll go yet but I'm thinking a team with a very low two-guard role or two-guard competition. Because my thinking is he wants to start right now, but he also wants to compete. I don't think he'll go to the Pistons and phone it in. I think he's going to be looking for a team that needs a two-guard and needs specifically a defensive two-guard and needs it badly. That's why I think the Lakers might fit perfectly. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of another team, but I'm sure plenty of other teams will be interested as there is a lot more offensive players in the league that need help at their respective counterpart. For example, a guy like Trey Young needs help at the shooting guard position on defense since Trey Young is so bad at defense, if that makes sense. This is a pivotal loss for the Pelicans, and I think they will also lose Lonzo Ball. And it's a weird spot you're in now because you're in that kind of Atlanta Falcon spot of win now, rebuild. You've got two star players, but you've also got two terrible contracts in Eric Bledsoe and Steven Adams, even though I think Bledsoe will somehow get shipped off. But it's like, where do you go from here? Because you have no bench, honestly, Besides Jackson Hayes or Steven Adams, whichever one starts over there. If Bledsoe comes off the bench, I mean, he looked god-fucking-awful. It's a really weird spot. I don't like this for the Pelicans at all, but I completely understand why Josh Hart is doing this, and I completely think that this report is true. I'm upset to see Josh Hart go, but I'm excited to see what he does for the rest of his career. He's 26 years old. He's got a lot of more left than the tank he's expanded his game a lot over the years and i think he'll continue to do so like once again he's entering his prime years he wants to compete the pelicans are in that weird iffy spot and i'm pretty sure he wants to start already don't blame him he's been four years on the bench really i don't blame him anyway guys that's all i got for today's video if you enjoyed make sure to hit the like subscribe button not too much to talk about, but it's still a really big loss for the Pelicans, and I'm not exactly sure how they're going to fill it. In the future, I might have a video out on that. But if you did enjoy it, again, subscribe, like the video, and until next time, 